Hey friends, good morning. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, deciding to check my channel out. Um, and I hope you decide to stay and hang out with me. Um, so today I will be doing a flip of my A6 um, Hobonichi Techo, I guess is what these are called, the little ones. Um, I, this is for, from last year, so I did this last year. Um, so yeah, grab your coffee, your drink of choice. Um, I got mine, and let's get uh, right into this. So I started this um, because... Well, I was like, well, this might be a good, um, I saw, let me backtrack. I saw Mom of More Plans and Quiche from uh, the Momster Plans. They were using a little A6 as their daily planner. And I just thought it was so cute because it's like tiny and then just like, you know, the writing space isn't that big and I was like this might be good for me for like um memory keeping because I really don't do dailies so I was like this will be cute for memory keeping um maybe a few little daily tasks or something in there or just of like what we did but um it was mainly for memory keeping um so I started it and after a while I was like eh. <laughs> it really wasn't me like just the size of it like it felt um too like small and I'm like my writing is just not that great in here but I was like I already started it I gotta finish like I'm just that person that I started I have to finish it <laughs> so I did sort of um except for like the last week of December <laughs> I was like I'm good that's good that's enough but anyway Let's do a flip really quick. So this, I had it in a cute little um, leather cover and I sold it uh, last month, a few months ago. So the first page, I just kind of had started just like actually writing like a journal type thing. Same on day two. And then I was like, okay, that's, you know, that's going to be too much. <laughs> so let me just do like highlights. So then I switched to just highlights with like some stickers in there. Um, washi, so I was doing washi at the bottom because these techos, or I think that's, I think they're called techos. They have the, um, let me show you a blank one. I think I have it. Okay, so they all, they, they look like this. And they all have this writing down here. And I didn't like it, so I would just cover it up. But then you see how it's like thicker at the bottom, <laughs> even like if I close it like that, it's thicker at the bottom because of all that washi. Um, so then after a while, it was like weird to like write and stuff because it was so thick. But anyway, so yeah, so I was doing like, you know, oh, we had a dentist appointment that day, but it was just like um, little like highlights of what um, we did that day. And so Mila and I gave each other tattoos with markers. <laughs> um, oh, just looking back at some of this, I'm like, oh my goodness. There's a shortage of a uh, kid's Tylenol and Motrin. And Mila had a fever. Thankfully, we had some at home, but that was like scaring me. I was like, oh my gosh, like what if that never never comes back? Like we need that. Because <laughs> um, I think my son had got, yeah, my son got sick first that day and then my little one got sick. Both of them got better the second day. A little personal thing about my daughter. Um, championship game. What we had for dinner. So yeah, I was just kind of just writing whatever, whatever I felt. But then, I, like, just the paper, too, like, I just couldn't find the right pen. That's always been my issue. And then I felt like, um, I 
felt like my hand was too big for the paper. Like, I don't like when I'm at the edge when I'm writing. Like, even, I don't know if you've noticed, like, when I'm writing in my other planners or my commit, I do this to write at the edge. Um, and, you know, I'll do it as much as I can because I don't like when you're down here and, like, your hand has nowhere to rest. I don't know. It's like, a, that's always been a thing for me. And, uh... So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't like this that much because it's like too tiny for me. But then it was also kind of perfect because it was just like little highlights and that was it. Like your page is pretty much full. Um, <laughs> we went to Starbucks and one of the baristas gave me my little pup cup pillow fight. Oh. I tricked my daughter into cleaning her room today, her car today. I wonder what that was about. I'm going to have to ask her how I tricked her. <laughs> That's an evil face for some reason. It was. It must have been good. I got a tattoo. I guess we had tacos that day. Um, oh my god. But see, this is like great to look back on now. And I'm like, I'm so glad I did this. Um, I love this. Gymnastics. She's like in a class with um, a little bit of older girls. She's the youngest. And she can keep up with the older girls in gymnastics. Like she's so good. Um, this is awesome. I I love it. Um, I didn't do washi there. That's a cute sticker. <clears throat> and oh my god, I drink way too much. Almost every page has said Starbucks, 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 Starbucks. Starbucks. Um, snow days, snow days. Those are so fun. We love going out. When it's well snow it's like ice here but every once in a while we'll get a, some kind of little soft uh, flurries and we make the most of it because <laughs> that's all we're gonna see um i just really felt like writing that day i guess um <laughs> oh my god some of these are so funny i'm gonna have to like get the kids together like a family dinner one day and just like read these to the to everybody and see if they remember some of the stuff oh my gosh these are so cute i love that sticker new tats again Cirque du Soleil oh my god that show if y'all haven't been to a Cirque du Soleil write it on your like bucket list they are so so good those shows um i love it <laughs> lightning bolts everywhere i saw this like a little meme on instagram and it thinks it's concentrate and then like a little butterfly flies by him or something <laughs> i said that's me always all the time like squirrel moments so i just like drew it in here I didn't want to print it out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Starbucks, of course. I'm going to pick up my sister-in-law's kids. I gave my nephew a guitar. He was so excited. He's He's been playing it so well. He's learned so much. He's all played outside. So my daughter, my little five-year-old, ever since she was like younger, instead of saying cuss word, she says password. She said, oh, you said a bad password. <laughs> and so here she said this little boy from her class, she's like, he said a bad password today. He said shit. <laughs> she said, I told the teacher that he said shit and he was putting on his jacket and it fell. And he said, shit. <laughs> I said, Mila, you can't say that word. She said, but I didn't say it. He did. 
Ay, ay, ay. Little kids. More Starbucks. I guess we did our nails that day. <sighs> Goodness gracious. My son, I was like, okay, let me know what teams you want to go see. Because the closest are... The closest, like, MLB team to us is the Rangers. Um, and so we'll go down to Arlington and watch games, um, in the, you know, throughout the year. And so, like, just depending who they're playing. So I asked my son, like, what teams he wanted to watch the, last year so I could start, like, looking for tickets and stuff. And he sent me a list of, like, every, pretty much every MLB, MLB team. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, I'm not going to everyone, but I guess I can buy any ticket and he'll be fine with that. Uh, went to the OU Texas basketball game. First scrimmage of baseball, February. We start early. Oh my gosh, I was scammed. This dumb lady, I was scammed at $300. Over a puppy. I was so upset. Yeah, I was one of those. It all seemed legit. She had a whole Facebook page. People on there like commenting on her pictures and like all these other like they had pictures of like um where they would do like reviews or whatever. Well, not reviews, but like it was showing them picking up puppies from this lady and like oh I got my new puppy or whatever. You know, like they would show the exchange. It just seemed so legit. It was crazy. As soon as I sent her the money, uh, we were supposed to go get it. Or it's like a deposit. I sent the deposit, right? We were supposed to go get it um, the next day, I think, or two days, two days later. Um, and then that's that day that we were going to pick it up. Um, I messaged again. I was like, hey, just making sure we're still, you know to be picked up on this day or whatever um and they were like well we need another $300 I'm like well, uh, excuse me <laughs> like uh no you don't they're like yeah we just um we need it to pay for the vet or something I'm like no that's what you said that you said they already had their shots all that stuff like that's what the deposit I mean you have already I already gave you $300 like um like it just doesn't make sense and I was like you know what just cancel it like I'm done like just give me my money back like this is just craziness and as soon as I said that she just didn't respond I went into the Facebook page it was gone like completely gone like everything was erased like it had just never existed oh I was livid I was so mad and then of course my dumb butt um paid through Apple Pay and so Apple Pay won't return your money they don't allow you to get refunds or like to cancel payments when you pay through Apple Pay. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh my God. I was like, I should have just, I should have known. I should have did PayPal instead or, you know, where you can like get your money back. I was mad at myself forever. My husband's like, just, you know, it's okay. It was just $300. Like, I'm like, no, it's $300. <laughs> I could buy like a Julio. <laughs> I was so mad at myself. Oh my god. But anyway, I finally like got over that. But now that I see that, I'm like mad all over again. Maybe I need to take that out of there. Um, uh, I just kind of wrote about my little one. She's going to start pre-K soon. They had like pre-K enrollment. Um, like pre-pre-enrollment or whatever. Um, <laughs> so, so Mila, instead of guitar, she says Nick guitar. I'm playing the Nick guitar. And bad password means cuss word. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, so during COVID, my son was like teaching me how to play Fortnite <laughs> on the Xbox. And um, he like started my own account and everything. And so um, every once in a while, he'll be like, hey, mom, you want to play? And so we'll like, I'll play with him and so um this day he bought me an emote it's like a little dance or whatever that you can do with your little character um yeah it's just kind of like how we connect sometimes he's like hey let's play mom I'm like okay um 
So here's like one of those backwoods things that I was showing you where we went a few weeks ago. This is from last year. And this is their picture. Um, so we did that. <clears throat> Starbucks all the time. I guess we got some really good ice cream. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. Uh, Mace had um, pitching only, batting lessons, that's a day, coffee, of course, Starbucks, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need, I maybe need to slow down on the Starbucks, gymnastics, um, I had to pick up my sister-in-law from the car shop. Soaked up time with my babies, laughter, hugs, and playtime. I shopped with my oldest. We laughed, shopped, talked to... Oh, talked to my friend on the phone. Uh, mm -hmm. More Starbucks. My daughter got it this time. Baseball practice was canceled because the um, it had been raining the past few days, and the field, even though it was a sunny, like beautiful day, I remember that day, um, it had been raining and raining and raining, and we finally got some sun, but we still couldn't do baseball because the fields were so wet. And I love this. And this is kind of how I am with my, I did this in my commit. <clears throat> so even after I got my commit, I still, I still kept going just because I had already started it. But you'll see, it's not as detailed. So this, I have like a bunch of little, a bunch of different stuff. Sometimes it's like, I like journaling, like actual journaling. I watched the movie Smile. It's so weird. Very weird movie. Like, I don't get scared easily, but that was just weird. Like, I, I did get scared. <laughs> I was alone, too. I was like, what am I doing? And I couldn't stop watching. Iced coffee, of course, again. Back pain. Uh, we watched Wakanda forever. Uh, I was watching the Boston Strangler on new Hulu. Did some Amazon shopping. You and I have a, um, it's like a pool table and like you, you, it like dismantles and it becomes a foosball table and an air hockey table. Um, so me and Mila were playing that day. She's really good at the air hockey. Um, back's hurting for t-ball practice for my little one. Um. Oh, my son had gotten really sick um, after one of our practices. I think it's back there somewhere. We went to urgent care and um, everything was was good. He had some uh, he had strep and like ear infections, and they gave him some inhaler and stuff like that. They made him. Yeah, he was feeling so much better on this day, but all that scared me for a minute there. I hope this is in the frame. I haven't even been <laughs> looking at the camera. Dinner at my parents. My sister and family came down. Haven't seen them since Christmas. Um, my little niece gave us made some drawings for us. She's a really good artist. She's um, t uh, she's ten. She's a few months younger than my son. Um, I felt a bit off health-wise. We were at a tournament, baseball tournament, in a different town. Mace pitched amazing. Um, it was freezing. Oh my god, yeah. That weekend was bad. We had practice. We had preseason tournament. 
Okay, this game was canceled. My oldest brought me some Starbucks. We went to have dinner and then <clears throat> we spent the evening outside hitting, fielding, riding bikes. Lazy rainy day. Mace made the doctor and nurses laugh. He's so witty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mace, Mila, and I ran to Starbucks after the doctor. And then we got crazy bread at Little Caesars. Oh my god, their crazy bread is so good. Mila's first t-ball game. This was her second year playing. Well, yeah, t-ball. Because the first year was wee ball. Um, okay, then is April... Uh, my son, they were the preseason tournament champs. My oldest, she went to the medieval, med medieval fair in Norman. Oh my god, this day was so fun. So I had bought this box at Sam's, a box of toilet paper. And like each roll is like wrapped individually. And um, the kids and me and the kids were like, we're playing tag or something. And then I ran by the box and I put my hand in and I took one out and I just chunked it on my son <laughs> and so then it just turned out into a huge like toilet paper fight it was so fun like, there was toilet paper rolls all over the house um and then they started getting up on me and we were building like little forts and to block the um toilet papers oh my god it was so so fun i'm so glad i wrote that down but <laughs> it's amazing and my daughter grabbed us some starbucks again so my daughter, um, she wants to say chicken nuggets, but she says chicken nuttic. <laughs> she still says that. I like chicken nuggets. She's like, that's what I'm saying, chicken nuttic. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I napped during the day. I couldn't sleep last night. Mason's uh, croc fell from the truck at the ballpark tonight. So we're like, we'll go back in the morning to look for it. And we did. We went back in the morning and it was sitting there in the parking lot. It was so funny. Um, it was hitting great. I made some shirts for my sister-in-law. It was my dad's 65th birthday. Ice cream and park fun. This is Good Friday. My son was watching Passion of the Christ. He was just playing it in his room. I was like, that's so sweet. I loved that. Right, um, Easter tournament champions. We played a tournament that weekend. We won that. They were so good last year. The team, oh my god. But they've they've even the years before. Like, but this year they were just beating everybody. Last year we, we lost a few, but we still we win a whole bunch, but man, this last year, they were just like, it was amazing. It was great baseball, which is crazy because um, this year, that team, it just didn't make, like nobody, everybody went off doing different things and they've played since they were three years old, we ball, that the, the same group, um, they've played together since they were all three years old. Um, and then this year, the, well, the coach, he had two grand grandkids on the team and the grandkids decided um they were gonna play like golf or something like that i don't know something else happened or whatever so then if his i mean his grandkids weren't playing so he wasn't gonna coach anymore so the team just it didn't make this year um which kind of was perfect because my son was kind of like oh, i need a break <laughs> but he's coming back um he was invited to join a tournament team, and they're only, they're only going to do a few games a week, um, a month, um, and weekends only. And they asked him, and he was like, "Yeah, he's like, I think I can do that." So we're back, we're back into it. Um, so this night, my son he pitched thirty three with twenty seven bean strikes. This my kid, he was on fire. He no hitter win, fifteen to zero. It was amazing. Nobody walked. Nobody got on base. Um, zero hits. Zero walks. Like, 
amazing. Like they were like talking about that forever. We we're so proud of him. He's a really great pitcher. That's why I was so sad that his arm's been giving him trouble. Um, we won again, nine to zero. Had a garage sale. This is when we were. I was trying to like purge everything because we were moving. The high school did like a little league night, and so all the like little league teams from our town, or the town that we, the kids go to school in, um, they went. And so before the high school game, all the teams went down there, and then they did like the national anthem and all that. So it was really cute. Took pictures. Um, we had a tornado that day. It was crazy. And of course, we're all outside just watching. <laughs> Um, <coughs> it was going away from us, so we weren't in danger, but it was, it was freaky. The sky is crazy. Game for Mila. She did great. She did first baseman that day, that night. My son's team won 10 to 1. Um, uh, oh, we had dinner at mom and dad's. And then the kids helped him with the garden, um, which was perfect because it was actually Earth Day that day. And then we had fun on the tree swing. Tournament in Washington. We won one, lost one. So these tournaments, they're like against um, teams from like all, all over the state. And then day two, we won, we won, and then we lost the championship game. Game was rained out. I liked this. This has just had like a lot more going on. Um, my kids love arroz con leche. We were looking at old baby pictures. It was a rainy day. We just kind of like my kids love looking at all the old pictures. Games canceled. We had a free day. Like I don't know if y'all see. Like every day is pretty much filled. It's filled with baseball, whether it be practice or games like this day was a free day but I mean it's we're busy <laughs> this was canceled because it had been raining um I made some bomb tacos apparently <laughs> um we went to work on the house we had practice oh we had just gotten the house I'm going to clear it out. The headaches, snow cones, practice. Sorry, how I hit the camera. Woodbat tournament this weekend. We won that. We went 5 0. That was really cool. That was our first Woodbat game did some fishing so here's when I was like designing how I wanted the house to look game in Chickasha it was rained out so, yeah. a lot of our games get rained out because it rains so much sometimes but then it's like we have to make them up so then we're playing back to back to back trying to make up games Another game, last day of school, and picnic with the water day at my daughter's. So my son's like, can you pick me up early? And then we can go to her thing at school. So that was kind of fun. We went first at this uh, tournament. This was nice. It was mom's day. The boys wore pink shirts for moms. It was so cute. Um, first day of summer break, like officially, we have games. We really don't have a summer yet because we're still playing. So this, my daughter wrote me a little letter. And she was in Mason's room, my son's room. And he said while she was writing, he was writing what she was saying. Because she, every time she writes a letter, she she's writing and she's like saying stuff out loud. It's so cute. She's like, dear mom, 
I love you so much, you know, like that. <laughs> so my son was like, I, I she started writing a letter, so I translated it for you. I thought that was so sweet that he even like thought to do that, you know. So I kept that in there. Um, game named out again. My daughter had a game. My son had a game. Game again. We went to the drive-in, we watched the Mario Bro Brothers movie and the Fast X. Um, like at our um, at our drive drive-in, well, it's not ours. We have to drive like it's like forty-five minutes away. Um, but they always show two movies. No games. Oh, I was like, yay, no games. <laughs> we had a water balloon fight at my mom's house on her. We had like a little birthday party. My grandma was so happy this day. It was her last happy and fully like conscious day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, pack, pack, pack. Moving day. Moving day. <clears throat> so my journey. My um, my grandma was moving out to my aunt's house um, my grandma was living with my mom and uh, she was getting a little more ill um she had moved off when she had moved in with my aunt in Oklahoma City to be closer to like hospital my aunt didn't my aunt doesn't work um, my mom does so we didn't want her like being home alone all the time like we can't always just you know be here with her my so my aunt was taking care of her for the most part those last days um, my grandma's getting worse right there and we had a tournament in Seminole, Oklahoma my mom hasn't rested hasn't gotten any sleep helping with my grandma out of practice <clears throat> Okay, so this is, I went and stayed with my mom at the hospital with my grandma that night. And that morning they told us that she had stage four breast cancer. And they said she had maybe six months to live, maybe. But, um, oh, and then this day they said, no, it's only, she only has three months to live. And little did we know, she only had three days. But anyway, this is our anniversary. My husband's birthday. I made my daughter some cute shirts for her brother's baseball. She loves like um, showing off her, like she wants her brother's team like shirts, you know. And I'll say like a sister on the back. <laughs> she loves sporting those. Uh, shirts she's a big fan of her brother and then that's when my grandma passed um i hugged my mom so hard this day went to my aunt's oh went to my aunt's that day okay and all the family got together and then it was my daughter's birthday and we had to cancel all her plans we did a celebration of um we had a lot of family here from out of town <clears throat> so we just spent a lot of time with them. Uh, spent a lot of time with my mom. Helped her clean out my grandma's room completely. This day, I remember I slept in. We had a our those uh, past days. We just nobody really had slept or anything, and it was so I finally got some rest. <laughs> um, I had to go to the ER that day. I was not not doing great and apparently i was apparently i was very dehydrated which made sense because we had been all these tournaments and stuff and then with my grandma like there's so much just going on that i just wasn't taking care of myself i felt um really bad like my i felt like my body was gonna give out it was so weird and so my husband was like nope let's go we're going to the er and they're like well you're very dehydrated and i was like my potassium or something was low i guess um, so then here we, um, did regionals, we won runner-up regionals, 
So we're going to stay. It was so, so hot. I remember I felt so bad for the boys out there in the ball field. No ball games that day. We're so excited. The first state game, and we had to drive all the way to Waterford. So far, it sucked. Second game, game three. <laughs> That's pretty much just what I was doing. <laughs> but we won. We won state champs. The boys did it. Oh, my God. It was amazing. So, so proud of them. Um, okay, and then pool, needs fishing, full time. I need to pick this up a little bit. <laughs> I'm reminiscing too much. Um, have y'all tried that diamond art? That is so fun. I I did that for a while in July. It just helped my anxiety so much, like just to focus on that. Um, I, it it's awesome if you haven't tried it. Bought windows for the house. My cousin's birthday party. Her appointment. Went to the guitar shop to fix my daughter's guitar. Uh, girl night with my oldest. It was so fun. We had a picnic at the lake. Um, in town. Water gun fight with the kids. <laughs> we have a lot of fun over here. With the babies. My uh, niece has stayed with us for a whole week. Um, and then here it starts getting like a little less. Um, because this is when I finally was doing just memory keeping in my commit 30. And so I was like, okay, there's no reason to like double up. But since I had already started, I'm like, I just need to finish this. So then I was just like writing bigger prompts and just like or not prompts but like bigger stuff and not as much detail anymore because I'm like it's all in there with pictures and all so but I was like I have to add something in here because I need to finish it this needs to be complete <laughs> um and so then here I think also is when because I had been diagnosed um, and so I started, like, writing stuff for my kids. Like, um, uh, yeah, so, um, declare the promises of God versus the problems that we have. Um, so instead of, like, oh, I have this, I have my anxiety, my this, my that, my, you know, cancer, start declaring the promises of God. I'm the body of Christ. Satan has no power over me. For I overcome evil with good. I am of God who has overcome him for greater is he that is in me than that is in the world. <clears throat> no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Pray the promise. Um, we went to the movies and went to watch The Holy Beetle. Um, oh, this is, okay, I had my biopsy. So this is when I was diagnosed. Okay, so yeah, I had gone back. So these were not, this was blank. And this was blank. And so I went back, not that one, but this one. So I went back and filled that in. Um, just to like, at this moment, I just didn't know what my life was going to be like. Um, if my life was going to be over in a few months or, you know. And so then I started like, sorry. <laughs> So then I started like leaving little notes like this in my journals for my kids. So if they ever, oh man, if they ever opened these books, they would see notes from their mom. Um, you know, I was just in the moment of like, you know, the unknown, you don't, when you're given a diagnosis like that, you just, you never know. Um, and then I was finding a bunch of these like, quotes and stuff like and then finally I was like what am I doing like I'm gonna fight I'm gonna get over this I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this and so I was writing stuff like this like so you fight until you can't fight anymore I needed that constant reminder and to get out of that you know whatever I was because I mean I had just lost my grandma to we think that's what it was was breast cancer and it was just so close to that. And so, you know, it's like, what else are you going to think? 
no matter how much I say I love you, I always love you more than that. So I was just leaving little, little things like that, tidbits. Uh, my son busted his lip open. Oh my god, I remember that day. It scared the crap out of me. Um, had a cancer sex tournament that weekend. <laughs> there was uh, these geese at my son's baseball game, and my daughter wanted to go chase me. Um, another one, Blessed is the person who keeps on going when times are hard. After they have come through hard times, this person will receive a crown. The crown is life itself. The Lord has promised it to those who love him. So yeah, I was living, leaving little motivational stuff for myself, little notes for my kids. Um, yeah, my friends took me out that night. They're like, you need to get out and just not think about what's going on. <laughs> and it was fun. The whole night, we never even talked about it. We never, I never thought about it. It was exactly what I needed. My sister came down to help with the kids. I had just had a lumpectomy. Yeah. Um, I had a lumpectomy done twice. <laughs> and then that didn't work. And I had to have the big one in December. Miss, do you ever look at your children and you can literally feel your heart melting because you love them so much? I think I have that in my weeks. I have a little. My babies, they've been so helpful through my whole, like, you know, after my surgeries and all of that stuff. Like, without even asking, and they were just, like, waiting on me hand and foot. Like, they were just, um, so this is when I got my results for my first lumpectomy. The cancer is still too close to the margins. More cancer than they had thought. So then I went and got tattoos because <laughs> I was like, I need that therapy. <laughs> um, Rangers game. She believed she could, so she did fight, survive. That was my mission. And you can tell I was just kind of like, not even happily happy heavenly birthday to my grands. My husband shot the first year, his first year of the season. Um, he started a work leader position at work. We had a celebration dinner for him. Um, last baseball game for the fall. Had a last appointment. Bought a cake for my sister in law. We just had a sleepover. My family, they did like a cookout for me. Um, and everybody came together and on my mom's side of the family. So sweet. They all like made food. We had like, um, they all gathered around me, prayed for me. We had like a little worship time. Um, and then just a cookout. We had fun outside playing. It was so beautiful that they, that they did that for me. My family was really like my rock, everybody. Cousins, uncles, aunts, like the most amazing thing. Went hunting with my husband. My niece's birthday. The framers finally went to the house. We had kind of put a stop to it because of the whole, my grandma and my situation. And then they were starting, and then they stopped in, until after the holidays. Um, I was sick. I remember I was supposed to have my double mastectomy done around this time, but then I got really sick, so they had to push it out. Done with my daughter. Yeah, surgery was scheduled because I'm sick. I made my grandma a recipe from my grandma's uh, recipe books that she had some bread. They're not so good. Um, my husband gave me that coach bag. Rainbow pancakes. All the hugs for my babies because the next day was surgery day. Came home. I had my kids. Oh my god, they're so sweet. My kids, my parents helped them. We came to my parents' house after because they were my parents, uh, my kids were at my parents' house. They had a sign outside, balloons. It said, welcome back home, mom. 
a dinner. Oh my god, it's just the sweetest thing ever. My kids are like, I'm so blessed. I'm just beyond blessed. This is my birthday. Sorry for speaking. My oldest for me some Starbucks. <clears throat> my, my husband was teaching my daughter how to slap. Because <laughs> um, she kept saying, I'm not even going to. Um, anyway, <laughs> he was teaching her how to slap and she slapped him. <laughs> He's like, just slap me. And she like did it. He's like, oh crap, she slaps hard. And so after that, he was like putting his hand on his cheek so he can, she can slap his hand instead of his actual cheek. <laughs> He didn't think she was going to hit that hard. And then this is the day I got my, um, the news that I, they had taken all of the cancer out. So that was an amazing day. We had a Christmas parade. Um, my drains were finally removed that day. Winter break started. My daughter's little friend had his party, birthday party, and then she had her birthday party. And after that, that was it. I just, I didn't, I was like, that's enough. <laughs> I was doing everything in my commit, and I was like, why am I even, like, so I just finally decided, because I was just doing, like, that, like, not even really, <laughs> Shelly's birthday, 35, like, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm not even really doing much anymore, so I just stopped. But yeah, that's it, and then my daughter caught a hold of it, too, but um that is all that is everything that i did i was supposed to put something here but i didn't and this is just washi tape i um it's like this thick washi tape and i covered the front of it just to make it a little cuter and add with that but yeah that's it um i kind of, kind of went longer than i had planned i didn't think i was really gonna um it's just i don't know it's amazing looking at all the stuff that happened you know and you're like I remember that I remember that so if you don't do memory keeping like this is your sign to do it because all those little things that oh my, I probably would forget you know something that just seems like very like that toilet paper um, fight that we had like it's not something that uh, I might remember someday or whatever but just being able to like open this up and seeing that and like reminiscent about it priceless priceless but anyway thank you so much for watching you guys um i hope you liked it and i also will be doing one on my b6 but yeah thanks again so much have a beautiful day love you guys bye bye